Everything okay, baby boy? Mom, if you're gonna use the wrong door, could you at least knock first? Oh, that's right. You have your own door and your own place. Just come in already. Dean's here. That's the wrong door. Wait, you want me to go around? Yeah. You boys look hungry. I'll get some sandwiches. <sighs> clip from a brand new original series, Acting Good, about the life of the main character Paul and his eccentric family in the fly-in community of Grouse Lake First Nation. So here to tell us more about this irreverent comedy loosely based on his life is Anishinaabe stand-up comedian Paul Roblaskis. Hello! Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's so cool to see the clip on TV. Like, I haven't seen too much of the clips. And then I, yesterday I was at the airport. It's the first time I saw a commercial spot um, for the TV wow. at the airport. And I was like, oh, it's oh, actually amazing. happening. It really yeah. is. And I watched the first episode, and it is really, really funny. Oh. Um, you are not only the star of the show, you're also the co-creator. And as we mentioned off the top, it is semi-autobiographical. Yeah. So for those who, are, you know, give it a little tease about what the show's about. The show basically chronicles my journey going back to the reserve after failing in the city. Like, I have a, we don't have a high school in my reserve, my actual reserve, so we always have to come out for school. And then my, my brother and my sister ended up back, and I ended up staying for comedy, but there's so many times where things just didn't work out in the city, whether it was, you know, my girlfriend kicked me out or I just wasn't making enough money. So I always had to go back to the reserve, and I'd always tell my friends in the seat, oh, I'm looking after my mom and dad, you know, they need my help, they need, <laughs> really, they're looking after me the whole time. I'm, I'm you know, they feed me, they're, you know, they're, my mom's doing my laundry still, so yeah. So I've, I've went back many times um, to the reserve, just, you know, trying to just refocus on my life and then the show sort of picks up on that and but I think the show is more about our family than it is me going back because we have such an amazing cast and amazing group of performers and uh it really ended up being about my family more than it ended mm -hmm. up being about me yeah. so even though you have actors portraying your friends and family yeah. how are your friends and family think going to react Man. to seeing these actors portraying them on the show it's weird my cousin dean he like he's based on my real cousin dean you just saw him in the clip that he thinks he's gonna be in the show playing himself still like, he <laughs> he's like so when am i uh when do we start shooting i'm like yo we already did it <laughs> i think my mom's a little worry too because my character is a mama's boy like it's to the point where it's it's a little sick <laughs> like how much I like I, I depend on my mom for so much things and I think my mom is gonna be weirded out when she sees how far we took that that comedy in terms of the mama boy aspect uh, in the show so uh, sorry ma <laughs> <laughs> so talk a little bit about you know you're envisioning the show and you do it like what were you, what is your what are your grand hopes for the show when you what you were thinking when you were creating it man uh, honestly like I've Growing up myself, I've never seen an indigenous sitcom before. Mm. And even, like, it's 2022, and this is one of the first ones. Reservation Dogs in the States, they're good, but a lot of drama in that. This, our show is 100% based in humor. So for me, when I, when I have the show, and then we put so much work into it, I'm hoping indigenous kids like me on the res can watch this and be like, I, I can't believe one of us is doing that, and hopefully I can do that too. You know, be funny and, and go do comedy and, and eventually have a TV show one day, which mm. is, still sounds crazy to come out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. So you couldn't shoot in your hometown, Poplar River. Yeah, it's too hard. It's, it's, too it's hard. remote, right? It's, it's, really, it's really bush, and getting the crew and, 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 and housing everybody was different. But we're really lucky that uh, Winnipeg is surrounded by a couple of reserves, and there's this place called Broken Head that it looks like Poplar River. There's no cement there. It's, uh, the houses look the same, so we were just very, very, very blessed that we were able to shoot there. Oh, that's very, very yeah. cool. Uh, you have said many times that laughter is used as medicine yeah. in the Indigenous community. How has com uh, comedy and laughter played a role in your in your life? Yeah, well, it's it's been huge for me. Um, I think comedy is is a healing. There's a lot of healing mm -hmm. to laughter, and and we talk about First Nations people. There's a lot of tragedy that we've experienced as a people, and when they talk about comedy. They say uh, tragedy plus timing equals comedy. And when you, so First Nations people, nobody has more like, tragedy than our people. So our humor has definitely um, sort of been birthed out of that. And it's, it's a tool that we use to keep each other going and keep each other, you know, a lot of survivors, uh, like residential school survivors and sissy scoops, they use humor to keep each other going. And just, you know, and, and I've been at like funerals up north and there's like cousins are joking, like auntie's crying too loud. You know what I mean? Like it's, so there's, 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 there's a lot of uh, dark places where our humor comes out of. And um, it, and you, there's start, you're starting to see a lot more indigenous comedians use that as a tool. Mm. Yeah. Paul, the show, I, I hope it's hugely successful. Yeah. You did a terrific job. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, well, Wonderful thank you for job. having me. <laughs> Everyone watching, acting good.
premieres on Monday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern on CTV Comedy Channel. Do not miss it. And hey there, wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like, and subscribe.